Jimmy was a patient who had lumbar pain for a long time. That is the first MRI of Jim. The internal MRI in the test tube sequence in the sagittal view is possible to, to see the intervertebral disc L5 S1 with the generation and hernia in the posterior part with stenosis in the L5 S1 nerves in the both side. For that reason, Jim felt pain for 10 years before to the procedure. In our procedure, we did intradiscal application in the intervertebral diesel fires one with great result. So what they did when I was here is they injected the stem cells in my L5S1 and they mix it with what they call their biogel, which gives it an immediate structure. So it's like kind of like replacing part of that disc. And then over time, you generate new disc. And it just changed everything. So. From the surgery I had a, a year prior to my first visit here, every time I got out of bed, for the first couple hours of the day, excruciating pain. And a lot of that is because when you sleep overnight, all the rest of your discs fill up with fluid, so they expand. So the disc that doesn't have any disc left gets compressed even more. So when you first stand up for the first couple hours, you need that fluid to get out of your, all your other discs, so it takes the pressure off the, the weak one. So we have here uh, Mr. Stewart's new MRI. This uh, was done 10 months after the therapy. And we are going to show like, what's going on with the disc uh, that was treated uh, when he was here. We can see that uh, the surrounding inflammation that was before around the disc is almost entirely gone. Uh, we do not have like those changes that we could see uh, before in the last uh, MRI. And also we can see in this sequence that the hydration of the disc has improved as compared with the uh, last MRI that was done 10 months ago.